was diagnosed with diabetes at 14 years old. Uh, I had diabetes type 1 for 28 years. Um, then I had a kidney transplant and pancreas. During and after the transplants, I had many blood transfusion and platelets. That operation was in 2007, which was very successful. And in 2014, I had flu virus, which unfortunately made my kidney fail again. So I went back on kidney dialysis and also I needed more blood transfusions. A couple of years later, I had a second transplant, which I was required more blood transfusions, platelets, etc. It is quite frightening to begin with. You just get used to it and you just carry on and look forward to the things what you have in life. I just think they're heroes because it's amazing that one pint of blood, how many lives that can save. If you're thinking of giving blood or you've given blood in the past, please think how many lives you've saved in the past because you don't know what's going to happen. It could be a member of your family what needs a little bit of blood. And it's not painful. You're in a good environment. The staff are absolutely amazing. They can't look after you enough for a sake of 30 minutes to an hour to support other people and giving them a life.